All right, good morning, y'all. Rise and grind. How y'all doing, Roddy fam? Today we're going to be talking about the reasons why you should own a Rottweiler. Reasons to get a Roddy in your life. Okay. This is a uh, Rumba. Her owner will be picking her up in uh, in a few days. Right? And we're we're here with her in the meantime doing our thing right now there are many reasons why you should get one of these beautiful animals in your life okay look at that okay now if you need a guard dog a watch dog the rottweiler will absolutely play that role most people i, I see uh, really just need a watch dog they just need someone to sound the alarm or someone to uh, look imposing when, you know, a threat comes their way. So, but if you need that animal as well, you know, to actually execute and do their thing, you know, and, and handle the threat, neutralize that threat, whatever it may be, whether it be a four-legged or two-legged, then the Rottweiler will do that, right? So... Case in point, um, en la esquina viven bastante vago, right? Um, but they know not to mess around in this house because they hear the barks, right? They hear the barks of uh, of three Roddies eventually. <laughs> if we were to stay with them by four, but we ain't. Um, they hear the bark. So just the bark alone, the thunderous bark alone is enough to, to uh, scare off at least the common man. You know, the common thug, right? Um, the sheer presence, once this guy, he's, he wants to play. But the sheer presence of them, you know, on their four feet coming at you aggressively, that's usually enough to scare them. Right now they're playing, they ain't fighting, right? They're play fighting right there. That's usually enough to scare folks away. But if... If you actually need them to jump into action, um, they will, man. They will. Uh, right around the corner, it gets kind of dark, um, especially when there ain't no lights or when the lights go out. Um, and I usually walk with either two of them or just one of them. And one time I was walking with, uh, with Gita and Ragnar. And around the corner... There was this, you know, this dude. I don't know if he was drunk. I don't know if he was high. I don't know, you know, if he wanted to rob me or whatever. Hey, they're going by. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, they licked you, huh? They licked you, buddy? So I was walking, right? And uh, right around the corner, just like, let's say, like this. You know, you, there's a corner right there. So let's say I was walking like that, right? So around the corner, it was super, super dark. And you could hide there very good. Nobody will see you. And the dude came at me like very, very aggressively. He was walking with his arms flailing. You know, he came out of nowhere. Um, and he just came at me, right? He came at me. He came towards my direction. And Gita don't play that. And I don't, I don't protection train because I, you know, I'm not a trainer. I don't know about that. I'm not about that life. Um, I've never protected and trained any of them because again, I, I don't know about it and you know, if, I, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to have a professional do it. But Gita immediately and Ragnar upon instinct, they lunged at my man. They just lunged at him, you know, and he, you know, he went off running. I had to call him off like, Hey, hey stop. I called him off like, hey, okay, stop. It's good. Stop. Right. But they, out of instinct, you know, they saw that my man, I don't know, I guess he, they, they, they read the bad intentions in him. Out of instinct, they acted. So in case you do need these dogs to go into action, they will. And, and again, you know, I don't train them. And you don't really need to train them to do that. People think, oh, I need to go into protection training in order to, uh, to do that with the dogs. No, not really. It's, it's a natural instinct in them. You know, hey, Rumba, Rumba, hey, buddy, you got 
got licked, huh? Who was that? Your mama, your daddy, your sister? So, typically, again, um, watchdogs will be enough, you know, sounding off the alarm or bark or having folks look at them. You know, it's intimidating. But if, if they need to go into action, they will go into action, man. Right, right now they're play fighting. But that's one reason, right? If you need a watchdog or a guard dog in your life. Um, if you have big amounts of property, you know, you own a finca, una quinta, you know, you own a farm, you own, you know, a nice piece of land, and you, and you, uh, you need somebody to guard it, then these bad boys... You know, that's that's a good answer for that, right? If, if you own um, sheep, cattle, uh, geese, ducks, chickens, whatever, any sort of uh, animal that needs protection, that's what these guys are bred for. <clears throat> Originally, that, that was their purpose. They were herding animals, right? So if you got cattle out there, you know, and you need some... Uh, a guard dog or you know a herding dog a roddy fits the bill man that's that's their glorious purpose as loki would say right <laughs> so roddies are for that they're about that life you know guarding and to to this day i mean i don't got animals as y'all see i have a small property but um one of the things that a lot of folks talk about and it is true they l do like to bump into you every now and then you know, it's kind of like put you in check, but you got to let them know, like, nah, man, I'm not, you know, I'm not your herd. I'm the alpha here, you know, but they, they do have that natural instinct of, uh, of herding. So a herding dog, of course, there's border collies out there that, you know, there's German shepherds, whatever, but a Roddy does fit the bill for that, bro. Okay. Um, a lot of folks, you saw how they settled down just with that play fighting. All of them just settled down. That was a couple of minutes, man. They had all that energy, and boom, they settled down right, right quick amongst themselves. I didn't even have to do anything. Even Vroomba, she's taking, you know, note <laughs> from mom and dad. She didn't do anything. She's like, I'm, I'm going to chill out. Um, if you got small children in the house, right, people usually say, oh, no, you know, they're not good with kids. Whatever. You know, you got to train them. Yeah, you do got to train them, but they are good with kids, man. They're beautiful with kids, you know. Uh, Ragnar with my little one, my two-year-old, that's her best friend, bro. She absolutely loves him, and he absolutely loves her. You know, he has a special bond with her like nobody else in the family. Of course, he bonds with me, with my, with my wife, with my older daughter, but with my youngest daughter. Man, this guy right here and my youngest daughter, you can't separate them, man. You know? And uh, as well, uh, Gita, she, she's very protective of the entire family. Raven is very protective, you know, of, of me. I'm sure that Roomba, when she goes into her new household, hey, buddy, she's going to be very, very protective, you know, of Gus and, and his family, you know, and her brother Shadow, right? But if, if you need, if you got small kids and they need a playmate, Go ahead, you know, train the dog and train your kids, man. These are beautiful playmates. They get along absolutely well. And, of course, in the future, I got daughters, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got daughters. I got to take care of them. got to protect them. <laughs> so, uh, when they get older, you know, 15, 14, that dating age, um, I'm going to have their boyfriends think twice <laughs> before doing them wrong with these guard dogs, right, on here. Don't mind me. That's just me being stupid. All right. But um, these dogs, they're very in tune with your emotions, man. They're absolutely in tune with your emotions. You know, they know when you're uh, you're happy. They know when you're upset. They know when you're sad. And they'll try to comfort you. Um, they do make good therapy dogs, right, so to speak. Um, again, I'm not a trainer. I ain't into all of that. I ain't about that life, but I do know from my experience, you know, when I'm feeling down and out, they'll go ahead, just like Roomba's laying her head right down right there. That very well could be your lap, your thigh, you know, when um when you're kind of feeling down and out, right? 
So they do make good therapy dogs, good family dogs. There's many more reasons for you to get these dogs, man. There's so much more. But those are the main ones that I see. You know, you need a protector of your family, of your flock, of your property. You need a, a good companion. You need good reason to uh, to get out in the morning. You, you need your purpose. You know, I'm not that active. I'm semi-active. As y'all saw, these dogs are very active and they, they do need exercise. So they will motivate you to get up in the morning, you know, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the morning, whatever. And go and run or hike and walk with them, you know. So if you're an active person or you need to, to be a little bit more active, you know, you do need one of these dogs in your life because they will obligate you to exercise. If not, if you don't work them out, uh, they will destroy your house, <laughs> as I've said on many occasions, right? But yeah, man, leave a like. Leave a like for Roomba. Roomba. What's up, buddy? Leave a like for Roomba. Yeah. Teaching her a name. Leave a like for Roomba. Like that little girl right there. Subscribe, man, if you haven't subscribed just yet, man. It's the Roddy fam. This is what we do all day, every day. All the puppies want their new houses already, their new homes, the new families. Luckily, all of them, all of them, absolutely all of them will have another canine companion. In some cases, you know, they have three canine companions. Um, all of them will have families as well. I made sure that each and every single dog went to somebody that has kids as well, right? Because I want that joy. When I was a kid, I didn't have, you know, uh, uh, dogs in my life. I want kids to have that joy, man, of growing up with these beautiful, majestic dogs. Anyways, man, I'm ranting off. Leave a like. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Until the next one, Roddy Pan. Peace. Love y'all.